Praise to you, brothers and sisters. Um, T.B. Joshua, one of the most prominent false prophets of our modern day, has passed away yesterday, the 5th of June 2021. The news broke this morning. Um, T.B. Joshua was the age of 51 when he passed away yesterday. He was the senior pastor and the main prophet of the synagogue church of all nations and leader and also Emmanuel TV. I have done two videos on him in the past. I will tag them on this video and put them on the link on the description below. Um, the first video was on his prophecy about the U.S. elections 2020 um, last year. I made that video on the 4th of November 2020. The second video was about his channel getting banned from YouTube because of because he once said um, that he has a cure to homosexuality and had a number of videos um, portraying this. I did this video on the 16th of April 2021. One of his spiritual sons prophesied that uh, this was coming. T.B. Joshua was going to, or that T.B. Joshua was going to die. He did not give details on how T.B. Joshua was going to die and when he was going to die. Now the name of the spiritual son is Savior Kal Il. I hope I'm pronouncing the word right. The word, the last thing that's the last name, it's K A L E K A L E L. Um his video of the prophecy was uploaded on his YouTube channel on the 27th of May 2021. Now let's watch the video and then I will comment after. I saw Prophet T.B. Joshua hmm, moving in the midst of the people of God and was praying for them. Following the man of God was one clothed head in sackcloth. This is not physical. This is not a contact physically. This one concentrates energy as God permits him. Mm. Let me not go further. I'm not permitted to do so. He who has an understanding, he who has understanding should be able to understand what the spirit is saying at the moment. I saw a man at a very high position who climbed to that position with the strength of God. On getting to that position, he couldn't move any further. The younger ones coming up the ladder, as God would permit, this mighty one up there was busy pulling them down. This mighty one was busy pulling them down. Take note. This is human. He could not go. He didn't want them to come up and continue. The younger ones start afresh. Keep climbing. He keeps on doing that. Then the one who has the power to give the grace sent the wind. We are talking about the wind of God. And it blew the one up there down. At that point, the younger ones were already climbing that ladder. Now, he seems to be giving, the reason he seems to be giving is that T.B. Joshua was jealous of the progress of the other prophets, especially the new generation that was trying to find itself within the prophetic world. So according to Savior, T.B. Joshua was sabotaging the progress of these so-called new prophets. So this is one of the reasons why he died. And he emphasizes that God took his life, took the life of T.B. Joshua because of this. What concerns me even more is another reason he gives. Let's listen to the clip and then I will comment after. The moment the people of this world start having problems with you according to your own confession, the moment the people of this world start having problems with you, servant of God, then you are on the wrong track. 
Mm. You're on the wrong track. The people of this world never had problems with the Messiah, with Jesus. Jesus only had problems with the religious people, the religious spirit. He was the friend of sinners. Remember, he was the friend of tax collectors. He was the friend of prostitutes. He was the friend of gays. He was the friend of the people of this world. Now, in this clip, he clearly suggests that if people of this world start having problems with, with you or they hate you, um, as a servant of God, quote, you are on the wrong track, end quote. Um, several scriptures could have, several scriptures could prove him wrong on this, but I will just read one. John 15, 18 to 19, reading from the New American Standard Bible, quote, if the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would have loved you as its own. But because you are not of this world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. End quote. Now with this, I am not confirming that T.B. Joshua was a true prophet, um, but I am correcting Savior's misconception. People of this world had a problem with Jesus. They hated him and they killed him. And they also killed his followers. Peter was crucified upside down. Paul was beheaded. James, the brother of John, was also killed in Acts 12 by Herod. Today, we all these people who killed these followers of Jesus were not the religious people of Israel. Today, we have our brothers and sisters in China being persecuted for the faith. And Jesus was and the part where he says Jesus was a friend of sinners because every, it's, in a way it is true because every living human being is a sinner. But Jesus never validated anyone's sinful lifestyle. Zacchaeus, the tax collector, is a good example that sinners repented of their sins. And the reason why the Pharisees and the Sadducees rejected him, it is because they were self-righteous. Those sinners whom... Jesus was the friends of those sinners who were Jesus' friends um, were not continuing on their sins and that Jesus was not applauding them and encouraging them to continue. All of them, except or with the exception of Judas Iscariot, repented of their sins. Sadly, T.B. Joshua died without repenting of his deception and how he has mis misled so many people. May we pray that his church will not continue his deceptive behavior um, and that the people who are following him may get the true gospel and repent of the false teachings of T.B. Joshua. Until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I will see you on the next video.